want to start off talking about um, this mentor agreement. So I haven't, I haven't finalized this. You, you don't have to do this for another uh, a couple weeks, but um, so I might adjust this slightly from last year. The last year was the first year we tried it. Um, this is uh, to make sure that I protect you and that you guys are you guys are, are fairly representing yourselves to any any partners outside of me right in, in your year-long endeavor and so that's this so if you're just working with me we're all good you do not need to fill this um, student researcher slash research mentor agreement form out however if you are going to be working with a, a professor other than me an outside collaborator, anybody like that, I want you guys to fill one of these out. I, again, you guys are still working on your project, but as soon as we get your project nailed down, this is what I'd like you to, to um, fill out. And again, possibly prematurely for some of you guys right now, but you should know about that when you enter into a discussion with someone, that this is what I'm going to expect you guys to fill out. So this is for both you and your, your partner to, um, to complete. This essentially says what I expect of them and what they should expect of you. So there's no confusion. We've had some, um, some bumps down the road during the years. Sometimes people think something's going to happen and somebody thought that someone said this. And so this way it's all just up above boards. Nobody has to get offended. Nobody has to get um, you know, bent out of shape. We're all being fair. And that, that's a good thing. As we go forward in your guys' career, always a good idea to clarify. At the end of the meeting, Okay, just wrapping up. So you need me to get you this and this, right? Am I forgetting something? It doesn't sound um, too controlling or whatever. It's always viewed as, a, I would say, essentially always viewed as a positive thing. So what you're gonna, so just for clarity, so that we have a, um, a, um, a, a clear understanding of what we're talking about, this would be the person that is not me that is, if you're just talking to someone every once in a while about some ideas for help, that, that's fine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about someone that you routinely would go to for access, for intellectual help, for that type of stuff. We're going to call that person your mentor. Okay, so this is, you're going to hand this, person's going to fill in his or her uh, information. Uh, almost always they're going to be working for an agency, a consulting firm, something of that nature. So you're going to tell me who they're working for. It's going to be your name and, and their info and have a note that um, my, my, so I'll be called your advisor. They're your mentor. Uh, the kind of arbitrary terms that we had to pick something. Okay. So my contact info is there too. So they should always have my info. However, you are the primary conduit by which you guys are going to, you know, set up things, uh, tra transfer information, what have you. I'm just sort of helping out, making sure there isn't any, any problem. So I'm a passive. So when you're, when you're engaging in discussions with these guys, especially the first little bit, go ahead and CC me, right? So I'm, I'm not necessarily going to reply to that email or, or necessarily be actively involved in that discussion, but that way I have a, I have a, a history of it. And if there is some question, three months down the road, four months down the road, I can go back and look at that email chain and go, ah, oh, okay, you, you guys said this and, and that person is, is misremembering it, right? Okay. Uh, as with any type of collaboration, there's gonna be something we're trying to achieve. I'd like you guys to stipulate this. Again, this is something, you're not gonna do the very first day you talk to this person. This is something you're gonna work out over the first few meetings or the first few discussions. So don't fill this out first thing off the bat. Have the conversation, come to some agreements, and then once you guys have gotten to that point, then bring out this document, then you're gonna fill this out. So I plan on measuring the plant biomass in this watershed. I plan on producing a GIS map of the invasive species in this watershed, something of that nature, right? So be specific. So we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna measure this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna produce that. Then there's this part about student deliverables. So this is going to say what, at, at the end of the day, what you are responsible to provide to your partner. At a minimum, and just, and just have a note, uh, this is based, again, you guys are free to negotiate something else, but at a minimum, 
this is what you're going to give them at the end of the academic year. Make sure they understand this is not at the end of this semester. This is at the end of your, of your full project cycle. If you guys wish to arrange an updated meeting or that you update him or her, that's awesome, right? I hope you're doing that frequently. But you're not necessarily going to give them a final report or, or an interim report unless they ask for it uh, at Christmas time, let's say. So minimum is project summary. This is your poster, right? So uh, more on this in the weeks to come. But basically, you guys will be producing a poster. Electronic version of that will be delivered to your mentor. You are responsible for delivering that to your mentor, not me. If there's a problem, I'll, I'll find out what's going on. But, but it's, it's your responsibility to get these products to your mentor. Secondly, the thesis, the written up part, the, 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 the primarily text-based, uh, usually much more detailed than your poster, and that's a usually much more detailed than your poster, you'll be providing that again um, by the end of May, right? That, that's after the end of the semester. If you found some flub in the thing you turned to me, you can fix some you know, spelling or something and get it to them by the end of May. That's all that, uh, that I say. If you want to add on a couple other things, for example, maybe the agency has a, has a uh, conference in January. Maybe they'd like you to give an interim poster, even though they understand you're not done, just sort of a progress report. Maybe they'd like for you to come to, uh, I don't know, uh, an education night or something like that. That's all good. Let's just stipulate that. So again, there's no surprises. And, and when we get into finals week that you, don't, you guys don't suddenly get an email saying, hey, I need you to come on Thursday, right? Good. Uh, and then again, so stuff about dates, stuff about logistics, et cetera. Then at a minimum, at a minimum, I expect you to meet three times with your mentor. Now, a lot of you will be meeting much more frequently than that. But depending on the nature of your collaboration, you might only occasionally meet. In some cases, these, these people might just be providing you, say, data sets, say, geospatial data sets. Maybe they're not intimately involved with your stuff. So, so at least three times, but recognizing that you might have additional meetings. But at a min minimum, I want you guys to stipulate when those meetings will be. So one's going to be early, right? So early on the project, as you guys are having more detailed stuff. And by meetings, um, I'm talking about face-to-face -face meetings. So you're, you're totally welcome to email, chat, do whatever. But these are times when the two of you get into a room together. It could be here on campus, could be at a coffee shop, could be at Park Center headquarters, wherever. But, but these meetings are face-to-face. Are -face. And you guys are going to give me those target dates. I understand that every once in a while crises come up, but we want to have it clear that, that I do expect you guys to get together. Again, this comes from a few times some folks have not met over the entire course of the year, and that's, that's not good for anybody. Um, and then it just says these things I've told you. So then uh, when this is all done, when this is all done, uh, you are going to sign it and date it, and your mentor is going to sign it and date it. Okay, So that way there's no confusion. We're, we're all clear as to what the de deliverables, et cetera, are. Okay, and I'm not trying to be legalese here. I'm trying to, again, avoid some of the confusion we've had in years past. Cool. Awesome. So this will be up. Uh, I, might, I might tweak it a little teeny bit, but this, this, um, this will be up for you guys. Questions about that? <laughs>